if you ask me i just don't like how glamour girls ended i finished watching and i was like is that all have oh more we need some more drama this one shouldn't just end here notwithstanding glamour girls was worth every time i spent watching that movie that movie was dope and really another banger that has just been released by film one on netflix glamour girls is a latest nollywood movie starring is it a team it has sharon uja jocelyn dumar um james gardner it has temison emmanuel Toke Makinwa and many other characters. Now, this is a Nigerian Ghanaian collaboration. Has more Nigerian actors in there, but has, yeah, I think it was just James Gardner and Jocelyn Dumas from Ghana that featured in the movie. So, Glamour Girls is a movie where a group of women have made it as escorts. Coming from very difficult backgrounds, Inze Ikpe has been able, who played the role of Donna in the movie, was able to transform the lives of lots of ladies or some young ladies like Sharon Uja that plays the character of Emma or Emanuela, Jocelyn Dumas who plays the character of Gemma and other ladies she has been able to transform these ladies and now they are living in a world of wealth in a world that promises so much wealth they feel they are comfortable until everything goes wrong all of a sudden and of course living in all these glitz and glamour little did they realize that these things do not come cheap and there is a price to pay Gemma falls into a very big trouble and of course this affects every other person in the team Donna, who happens to be their leader, is now with the responsibility of having to get her girls out of this trouble. That is what the whole story is about. And yes, I'd love you to go watch it on Netflix. It was released on the 24th of June, that's Friday. So it's still very new. Go watch it and let's talk about it in the comment section. Now, what were the parts I loved so much in the movie? The, the whole part that got me into the movie was the part where... From the beginning, I just really didn't like it because, okay, I, it, was, it was a bit of glitz and glamour, but had a lot of girls doing some things I just wasn't so much pleased with until um, Gem, uh, Emma finds herself into trouble and loses her first job, falsely accused for something, and she, yes, she loses her first job, and yes, she finds herself looking for another job. Now, that was the climax for me. I, I was that was what put me into the movie all along i was a bit absent-minded until her approach on how she was able to get the job was like damn this is it <laughs> you know what the bible says that the kingdom of god suffered violence and violence took it by force as i watching that scene i was like no she took her job by force <laughs> so yes emma sharon uja played that role perfectly for me and i love that particular scene she was able to get something she really needed not by yes going a little bit extreme but yes the aggression with which she took it all her friends gave up when they were turned down but she was like no this is for me and yes she got it and that is the real spirit of a go-getter go for what you want generally i love the story the story was one that was well scripted i love the way the story the story unfolds and i loved every one event in the movie it has a storyline that is not so difficult to grasp and fall in love with or to understand it is very soft on you and you're able to get the story as it unfolds they kept it simple and i'm glad they were able to introduce a very critical topic happening around us, the life of an escort. One character that super impressed me in the movie was Sharon Uja. Sharon Uja was one of the escorts and I loved her whole character. She was one of the major characters, uh, major escorts that had the spotlights on her. I loved how her life started. She had to play a bit ragged in the story and 
yes she she played that role so well points where she has to act all ghetto you realize that she does it with so much flair that it doesn't look like she's faking it. It looks like she's actually from the ghetto. The Sharon Uja we know is not one that is so bragged. It's one that is very flexible, like the character she played in Skinny Girl in Transit as Shaliwa. She was all girly, all, yes, all city-like. But when she had to play the character as a ragged ghetto girl who was so desperate to make it, yes, I loved I love the language she came in with. It was one that she didn't really have to force. That looked like she, it came just naturally. And yes, I applaud Sharon for that. Personally, I just felt some of the plots were rushed. Some of the characters were just taken out so needlessly. And I just felt there was so there was there was more we needed to explore with these characters. If they needed to make it a series, yeah, it's welcomed. But they needed to really digest every plot. I, I know not everyone would be able to go deep, 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 deep into. But at least we needed to feel more of it. Because if it is necessary to the development of the play or the, to the development of the movie, then I just feel those scenes or those plots were supposed to be developed let's take sharon uja and her friends she came in with her friends to look for a job she got the job her friends didn't then we we never heard from them again fair enough suddenly they appear again why then she gives them a, a dollar note or something and that is it that is the end of it what happens to them is she able to introduce them is she able to make them do well what next i just feel we needed to hear more about these three girls that is my opinion because they seem to be pivotal in the development or in the life of sharon um who played the character of emma and we needed to explore them all the more the character of abebola gray she was another lead of another escort business and yes i just feel her character wasn't so developed because she seemed to be a very pivotal competitor to the um to inze and if that is it then what happened what happens in her world like we should have seen more of her i just feel we saw we saw very little of her and that didn't go so much down well with me now donna gives abemola gray uh, a sofa with money and she buried something in there just to be able to set her up to be able to salvage her situation i just feel that particular scene or that particular plot wasn't well developed we should have seen more we should have realized what happened did she succeed what happened next because if she did succeed then why did she still have to pay the money why did she have to go through all the trouble to be able to find the money why is it that they only left her after she like there was something we needed to know I just felt they missed out something in there. There was a missing ingredient in there that we needed to know. And we just didn't hear about it again. She just said, deliver the sofa to me to my house. And that is it. We never heard from Abimbola again. And that was it. And then after watching the movie, that this is the part I didn't like. The last scene was like, oh my, what is going on here? Have they finished? Is that all? Is that all there is to it? Is there a part two? Yes. If, if there is a part two, I'll be very grateful. Just like Chief Daddy ended and there was a part two. Yes, I'll be very grateful if there's a part two. But if there is not, I just felt it didn't end well. The ending was beautiful until Donna brought another pen drive from her hair. And I was lost. If somebody gets that particular scene i don't get it i don't get what happened like what happened what happened to the one she gave to chief where from this pen drive is it that she gave because she was able to confirm is it that she splitted the money what happened i don't get it i didn't get the ending personally i'm still trying to find somebody that would explain it to me if if you will if you don't if you do get it yet you can drop it in the comment section and i'll definitely go back to watch to ex to get it to myself because i didn't get the ending the whole ending was Yes, it was beautiful up until Chief left. Chief and his boys left. And I was like, okay, if it ends there, then that's fine. If it had ended there, then I'll be asking for more. But if it, if it goes beyond that, then I'm like, 
we need more we need to know more and yes i'll be expecting a part two of glamour girls i'll be all for today if there is something i left out something i feel to mention do drop it in the comment section and i definitely would have an interaction with you there the name still remains mame abnapukia kindly hit the subscribe button and let's grow this channel Scroll.